In this video, we're going to cover how to use delete requests in our API that we're building. So in the previous videos, we've dealt with get requests, post requests, and put requests. This video, we're going to deal with delete requests. So here I have Postman open. I've already ran a git on lang, which returns all the languages I have in the dictionary. And what the delete request is going to do is simply pass in the name of one of these languages and remove it from the list of languages. So let's get started building that. Delete will be very similar to the put request and the get request that specifies a name. So the first thing is setting up the route. And the methods will be delete. We're going to call this remove one, and it's going to take in the name from here as the parameter. And just like the put request here and the get request up here, I need to search for all the languages in the list of languages that have the name. But since the name is unique, it's only going to return one name. So I'll call this lang, and I'll do this for language and languages if language name so this is going to search the language list and return the language that matches the name just like in the previous put request then once you have that link you want to take the the languages list and remove the value returned by lang. And since it's unique, it's going to be at index zero. Finally, we want to return all the languages. So JSONify languages and then languages again, just like above. Let's see if everything worked fine. Everything worked in the reloader. So let's try deleting Ruby. So we're going to change this to um, a delete request. And let's send it and see what happens. All right, so we returned the list of languages, JavaScript and Python, and Ruby is now absent. And we can verify this by going to this Get requests, get the lang sending, and we see that Ruby is no longer there. So I hope that helps you understand how to use the delete request in the Flask API. Thanks for watching.